My name is Luxon and I am the founder and the executive director of the school over here in Jacob and in Palma. Because we're over here in Jacob and Palma, it's pretty rough area, so there is no school around the community. And when I come back from the US in 2009, God put in our heart to come here and to help the community. So we came here in 2009 and we have a friend named Mido who gave us a place to start the school. And Haiti, most of kids who go to school, they go without any food. So with the feeding program, we are able to give them a meal per day. Uh, that means even though they come to school without eating, so we can feed them and they can learn much better. And some of them, if they can go back home and they, they get nothing to eat. So I think the feeding program is the, a very great choice for them. And there are some of them who work around two hours to come here because they don't have, they don't have a school to go very close to the house. My name is Daryl My name is Daryl Pierre. My name is Tiradal. I live in Tiradal, close by Palma. My name is Katoza. I am 14 years old. My name is I am in fourth grade. I remember all the time that I was in the school. The reason I work so far to come to school here it's because I would like to be educated to help my family. And my family, I am the only one who goes to school. My name is Jean Michaldo. I am in fourth grade. I would like to finish my primary school here. When I finish my primary school here, I would like to go to a secondary school. When I finish my secondary school, I would like to go to a nursing school. I would like to be a nurse so I can help myself. And my family and the other people in the community. And Jacob to Palma, there are more than 5,000 people. But I think we are able to serve like 25% of them. Like we give them micro loans and uh, other things like feeding program, and we give them some goats to raise. And very soon we are going to start some ag program to help more, but I think we help around like 25%. Uh, there are a lot of difficulties and struggles. For example, to find teachers to come here to teach here, they have to come very far, like one or two hours on motorcycle to drive and come here. When it's raining, it's very muddy, so it's like a fight. And uh, they don't have money, so we have to try very hard to help. That's why we are planning to start some uh, some uh, businesses and some agricultural things so where we can raise more money maybe very soon when they finish primary school so we can maybe have a, a high school here where we can help them more. I would like to be a farmer and come back to the community in Jacob. Because we don't really have a good farmer in the area. I think one day we can, I can help grow crops to feed people all around the community. I'm very honored and very grateful to be a partner of When I Grow Up. And I thank everyone who decide to give their money for that job and may God bless you.